Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I've got an interesting video for you today. This is actually take two of this video because I just got done filming the video out in the field and there was some wind that came through, got a bunch of wind noise in the footage, so I'm back redoing this video from the house. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a solar panel from eScene that was sent to me for review. Now the GoPro, which I'm filming this video from, when I went out to the field, I was powering that GoPro using a 8 watt, 5 volt, 1 amp solar panel. And it powered the GoPro just fine. I used that small solar panel to charge my devices and I was surprised that it actually ran the GoPro. So in this video, this solar panel has quite a bit bigger numbers than that one. This is 20 watts of power, also five volts, but it puts out a two watt charging current. So two amps, very, very cool. And the reason um, two amps is so much more important is because if you think about charging whatever the device is and let's say using a one amp current you charge that device in four hours well if you step up to two amp you're doubling your current of charging which reduces your charge time by half so i could probably charge the same device using a panel like this in two hours so this uh was sent out for review i've used the panel out there when I shot the video earlier I just put it all back so that I could shoot this video again but this is a fantastic panel I played with it out there and it works very good so when you get the package you can see the panel e scene it's got a little velcro enclosure right here so it folds down and it's got a tri panel set up so you got a total of 20 watts of solar energy that you can use this panel has little rope things on the side and then there's also one on the top. So you have a total of five attachment points. So if you wanted to stick this on a backpack and hike around and have this thing charging while you're hiking, you could do that. That's what these are for. So the construction of the panel is very nice. These are monocrystalline panels. And on the back side here, you have a nice zipped area that has a mesh and you can open this mesh up and you can see this panel comes with four small uh, carabiners so you can use those to attach this to whatever like backpack or whatever and it also comes with a USB-C to micro USB charging cable so very cool and then you also get a small instruction booklet and it talks about the, the panel. There's not really a lot to this. A lot of these solar panels are very similar. There's the controller right there on the panel. It has a little rubber uh, cover. And when you get sunlight in the center of those USB ports, you'll see a red indicator illuminate when you have this thing putting out voltage. So it's very cool. I was able to use this to also run my GoPro when I was out there. And some people might be wondering, well, if that smaller panel, which was so much lighter, powered your GoPro and charges your phone, then why do you need a bigger panel like this? <clears throat> the purpose of having 20 watts versus that other small panel, which was, I think, 8 watts at 1 amp. This one's 20 watts at 2 amps. So the purpose of that would be if the conditions outside for solar energy aren't ideal. So meaning if I'm out there trying to charge my phone and it's cloudy that day, that could drop my eight panel, my eight watts on that small panel down, let's say to half 
let's say I'm getting four watts of input because it's cloudy outside and let's say that a result of that reduces my my charging current down by half so now I'm dealing with four watts and half of an amp so I'm doubling my time from uh, charging that device from four hours to eight hours so when you get something like this even when those numbers reduce down let's say by half I would still be charging at 10 watts 5 volts 1 amp so that means that that uh, device instead of charging in 2 hours and not charging in 8 hours it would still charge that device in let's say for example 4 hours so that's why these things are nice to have more wattage coming in so again you got three panels these are monocrystalline panels a lot of these panels and these solar uh, devices are made very similar they come from China and they have a lot of similarities that small panel that I used in fact it was a different one it was a two panel it had two panels I think it was a 15 watt panel I had that one and I use it all the time I still have it it's sitting over there on the table right now one day that panel which these are water resistant meaning they can they can withstand some some light rain and stuff and they'll still work it's not going to damage the panel I don't know if they'll produce energy for you but it's not going to hurt the panel if you get like a light rain so that panel the the 15 watt one that I have it fell out of the boat one day and it fell in the water and it quit working and then a few days later it started working again and it's still working this to this day and that was like two and a half three years ago so I'm saying that these things are pretty tough they're pretty durable they're very nice if this one at the $50 price point is too much for you you can get one that has two panels I think it's 15 watts and I think that one runs like $10 cheaper so very very cool so looking at the owner's manual you have the manual that looks like this I'll bring it in close and hopefully you'll be able to read that a little bit feel free to pause your screen if this looks like something that interests you so this gives you all the information from this panel now you guys might be wondering why am I filming with my GoPro for this video normally I use my other 4k camera I'm using my GoPro today because I filmed that green chili burrito video and I got so excited to eat those uh, that burrito that I tripped on the cord and my camera fell face down and it damaged the LCD screen so I got to get it sent out to get it repaired it's gonna cost me like two hundred and thirty three dollars so that's why I'm shooting this video with the GoPro but let me let me take a look here real quick and there's a few things that I want to read to you the specifications of this panel are monocrystalline solar cells um, it puts out 2.1 amps per socket so it's got two sockets USB um, poly is the material PVC coated and the oh this is another important factor right here the operating working temperature that's optimum anywhere from 14 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit the reason I'm bringing that up is because in this uh, when you put these like a lot of people think that it's a good idea to put them in the windshield area of the of, on the dash of the vehicle but if that temperature is going to exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit this thing's not going to charge it's going to time out on you so it says right there don't put them in sand uh, cement or rock for long periods of time and then for faster charging place the panels under direct sunlight don't use the unit behind a windshield or glass or indoor by a window because it'll like I said it'll increase those temperatures up and it will give you problems inadequate sunlight may slow down or pause the charging process okay so right now I'm outside I've got the solar panel I've got good sunlight today and I've got a lot going on actually we'll take a look here I've got a couple things going on right here you can see the red indicator I have a GoPro Hero 9 black edition charging and then right here I have a battery charger 
and I've got two batteries in there charging simultaneously. So I've got an 18650 battery and a 14500 battery. Again, I'm charging my GoPro at the same time. So three tasks are being powered from this panel. The panel's doing fantastic. And those tasks right there are much more energy dependent than simple tasks like charging a cell phone or an iPad. So I'm very impressed with the performance of this solar panel. It's doing a great job. Let's take a look at that one more time real quick. So again, the GoPro red indicator charging and there are our batteries. So all of that off of this panel. It, it's, it's, it's remarkable what this panel is doing right now. Hopefully you're able to see this screen right here. I've got four batteries charging I have an 18650 battery, I have a 14500 battery, a AA nickel metal hydride battery, and an RCR123 lithium ion rechargeable battery. All those being charged simultaneously and then next to it I have my cell phone charging so hopefully, let me push the button again, hopefully you can see the lightning bolt there that it's charging and all of this stuff this testing right now is being done using this solar panel. It's doing a fantastic job. I've got very good sunlight today and I'm really impressed with what I'm able to do with this solar panel. It's, it's just remarkable. So I want to say thank you again to eSeam for sending this solar panel out for review. So with all that being said folks, I want to say thank you for stopping by today. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to check the description box down below. I'll put links to where you can find this panel and feel free to leave comments down below. Like this video if you would please share this video and until next time I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.